Well, good morning. And good morning from day 14 of my Swiss Alpine Pass trail adventure. Last couple of days since uh, leaving Adelboden have um, been a little more gentle and uh, still stunning views um, and still some climbing to do but nothing on the scale that I was doing earlier in the walk. So uh, it means I'm slightly ahead of my schedule. Um, now I fly back to the UK on, th on the Thursday of this week. Um, so uh, whilst I've not booked anything along the route, I'm conscious of where I'd like to be roughly most evenings. So as a result, um, I'm taking an alternative route back to Montreux. So uh, my book describes um, two routes. The official Via Alpina goes via the town of Stadt, and the one that I'm taking goes via the town of Stieg. And uh, my plan is to uh, get through Stieg today, which will be, I should be there in a couple of hours because I'm not far away already. Then climb up to a pass on the other side of Stieg, camp there. Then the next day have another easy day to a place called Col de Mosses. Um, I think there are a couple of campsites there, I hope there are. Um, so I uh, hope to try and stay in one of the campsites there because uh, that'll be I'll have done three wild camps by then before I get there and then my <clears throat> my last camp I'm planning on camping on the uh, Roche de Ney Ridge <clears throat> excuse me uh, which will give me panoramic views over Lac Le Mans Geneva and then on the Thursday uh, a nice easy day downhill into Montreux in the end of this uh, this trek. So uh, that's the plan. Um, so from Adelboden, since I left Adelboden, uh, it really has been uh, very easy, quite wooded in places. Adelboden was very pretty, and then I climbed uh, over the Hannon Moose Pass which was um, very much uh, covered in um, uh, ski infrastructure, down to Lenk. Uh, and then I climbed up from Lenk to where I camped last night near the Trutelisberg Trut Pass. So uh, yeah, all good, really enjoying it. Um, making the most of the early morning though, uh, before it warms up too much later on.
Well, good afternoon, and good afternoon from day 16 of my Swiss Alpine Pass trail adventure. I'm now at the Rocher de Ney, and just below me you can see Lac Le Mans and uh, Montreux, where I'm going to be finishing. Now, my original plan was to take 17 days, um, but I've tried to eke it out as much as I can, uh, but I got to a location where I could have camped for this evening, but I got there at 11 o'clock, it's just far too early. So uh, I've put myself a hostel in Montreux, I'm going to walk down there now from Rocher de Ney, and uh, that'll be the end of this uh, journey. Um, since I last spoke to the camera, I uh, left the Trutlisberg Pass, um, ended up going through uh, Stieg, found myself a lovely um, campsite, or sorry, wild camp spot uh, near the Blatty Pass, really, really peaceful. And then yesterday, I walked through some lovely scenery to Col de Mosses, where I stayed on probably the best campsite I've had this whole trip. It was only a one star, it was the cheapest by far, but it was immaculately kept, very peaceful and uh, very, very pleasurable actually. Uh, so that was really good. Um, just to say thank you uh, for anybody who's uh, commented on uh, my first video. Uh, thank you ever so much. Um, there's two more still to come. And also uh, thanks for those people who've uh, been following my journey on Strava and uh, making comments on uh, on my Facebook feed as well when I've uh, put some photographs up. It's lovely to uh, read the uh, complimentary comments. But uh, this journey is now over for me. I'm going to walk the 14 kilometres downhill from Rocher de Ney to Montreux and I'll uh, finish the video with some footage of the uh, descent. But um, as for now, uh, that's the Swiss Alpine Pass Trail done. Really enjoyed it. Spectacular scenery. Can't really grumble about it whatsoever, um, other than the fox stealing my food. But there we go. What a lovely trip. Thanks ever so much. Mm -hmm.